Hey guys, so today I'm here with a video on the brand new YouTube interface. So I got my hands on a little bit early and definitely feel like there's a lot of awesome stuff here. So let's just go ahead and jump straight on into it. So the first thing you'll notice is that it is very new and very different looking. Uh, so they've replaced the white background with a kind of grayish. I think it looks nice. Uh, and on top of that, of course, there's lots of dark, you know, blacks and blues and stuff, which gets a little bit more color. Uh, definitely looks more like a site that was designed in 2011 as opposed to the previous version. So let's go ahead and start with this left sidebar. Uh, so of course you have your channel, you can see your videos, your likes, your history, all that kind of stuff. But on top of that, you now get easy access to your subscriptions. So up top here, for example, if I want to see exactly who has been uh, linking videos on Google+, Plus, all the people I follow, I can take a look at that. Uh, you can also do this on Facebook. It's not currently working for me right now, uh, but I'm sure by the time this starts rolling out to everyone, it will. And hopefully they add a little Twitter functionality as well. Beyond that, if we want to extend this, we can take a look at everyone that we are subscribed to. Uh, and of course, we want to take a look at someone, and for example, we can just tap on them and see all of the videos that they have uploaded, which I think is pretty helpful. Moving on, there's also a From YouTube section, which allows you to pick out a very similar homepage that you are probably used to right now. So what this goes over is some of the most popular videos of the day. So just like always, you can see you know, the most popular videos, and they'll all pop up, as well as you can see exactly how many sites have embedded them, which is kind of neat. However, one of my favorite bits is the suggested channels. Now, what this is all about, and I believe this whole really uh, re uh, redesign is all about really getting you more channels to find, more videos, and all that kind of stuff. So we can take a look at some of the suggested channels for me. So, for example, we can just take a look at Machinima, and by clicking on that, it will pull up all of the videos that they have uploaded. So, for example, they favorited, uh, you know, <laughs> uploaded all that kind of stuff. And if we like, we can feel free to just subscribe straight from here. In addition, there's also a new Add Channels button. So what this allows you to do is basically, just like before get even more content from different people. So here's a bunch of channels that recommends that I subscribe to. So we just take a look for example here. We click on preview. You don't actually play the video but you can see here it gives a little information. We can subscribe. See how many weekly videos as well as how many subscribers that the channel has. And in the middle without doing anything it will automatically give you a subscriptions page which is similar to what we have with activity right now. Uh, so what this does is it gives a never ending thing of all of the videos that your friends as well as the people who you've subscribed to on YouTube have. So for example these are people that have uploaded videos or friends have liked, favorited, etc, etc. Now while this is not bad in theory, one major problem is is that if you have any more than a dozen or so friends, this gets very, very complicated very fast. So for example, there's people who liked and favorited all kinds of stuff. Uh, if you want, you can simply click on the Manage tab and it will take you over to your normal subscription page where you can go ahead and take a look at all your videos. Uh, but it definitely can be a little bit annoying. Alright, so enough of this. Let's go ahead and go over to the final new thing, which is going to be recommended videos. Very simple, very, you know, very straightforward. It now shows a lot of recommended videos that it thinks you might be interested in. Some of them are, some of them aren't, but of course, if you're bored and you want to spend some time on YouTube, they are doing their best to keep you on the site. There are also brand new channel pages as well. Now this is actually opt-in, so anyone can try this out. I'll have a link in the description of this video. And it is very similar to the Cosmic Panda-like layout. So right here you have your featured video, and of course you can change that to be whatever video you like. Over here we have some links, so you can add links to your various sites, your Twitter, your Facebook, all that kind of stuff. You also have a little bit of information about the channel. You can take a look at featured playlists as well as other featured channels, for example, your friends that you might want to get some uh, exposure to. Lastly, we have the new video watch page. Now, this is largely the same. We can still go ahead and pick out more videos, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. But in addition, there's also the new player, which allows you to change the size of the player. You can go full screen or you can go back to large player or the small player. So it gives you a little bit easier way to go ahead and toggle the different settings as well as, of course, you can change the resolution of the video from here. Anyway, that's going to be about it. If you enjoyed this video and you're interested in more videos like this or indeed on anything technology related, definitely be sure to subscribe.